today we go into cook one of the most delicious curry. <laughs> um, this is crab curry. You know, every day we try different curry, um, and I'm sure that crab curry is not a very usual one. But to be surprised, it's so so delicious, and I want to share this recipe with everybody. Crab curry. Ta -da! <laughs> You know that, you know, usually we eat curry with uh, chicken, right? Um, all the, you know, all the meat vegetarian, mostly that we like curry with chicken. Today, I'm going to show you how we make curry with crab. Um, the good thing about this one, I bought this one, is already cooked. Um, so, you know, the process is going to be quicker. Um, so we have the crab here. I'm going to prepare some ingredients so we can you know, get all the things ready so we can cook. This one gonna be really quick. Ah, to me, it's quick. <laughs> hey, taro! <laughs> um, this big taro, we love them the most. Uh, any kind of potato. Um, so the technique almost the same. You peel them out, you cut them out, and then you're gonna fry them. And then that's how you cook um, curry. So we have a uh, taro here. I will use a couple of the salad and of course mm. garlic as well and onions. Uh, Look at that. Ta-da! <laughs> Salad and um, garlic. I'm going to crush it out. You see the juice coming out. Crush it out a little bit before I I chop them in small pieces. Like one tomatoes. The chili. Over here, I'm gonna put them. I don't know, I don't have a measurement here, so it's just gonna use my finger um, to measure them. Okay. So this is what you're looking for. You know, even a little bit slightly smaller, you know, bigger, that's fine. Right. We're going to cook now. You right? Everything already done. Uh, the more important that you want to have all the things spread out before you actually cook them, because it's, it's not this um, turf, your process while you're cooking, right? So I'm going to fry this one right now. Um, so I turn the heat on, uh, just leave them at medium high, and then, you know, my pot still have a little bit of uh, water. I will wait for them to be dry completely, and then I'm gonna put in here about at least um, two soup spoon of uh, oil, cooking oil, regular cooking oil. All right, I will test my oil. It's ready. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put all my taro in here. So I'm constantly trying to, um, you know, split them and make sure they are, you know, all the side is gonna be like golden brown like this one. Yeah. 
everything out when it golden browns and I'm going to put all the herbs in here now. I will start with my salad and garlic and the rest of the onions. Stir them all well together until you get that kind of like golden brown. Put in here about 400 to 500 millimeter of coconut cream. I'm going to pour the rest of like my uh, cut tomato and chili in here. Back to medium heat. Stir them together. Then I will put the, the um, taro back into it. Um, another half a liter of um, either chicken broth or coconut juice. So when you see the reboil again, I will use curry powder so we usually we use this uh, bread <laughs> or just or you can get you any you know curry powder you can get from supermarket I would use about one full spoon of it if you like them a bit stronger you know you can add more or less if you don't want it too strong Sugar, you can use about two to three uh, teaspoons of regular sugar. I have palm sugar right here. Palm sugar is just gonna make the flavor more richer. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of MHC. Chicken powder, I would use about two teaspoons. Let's say you want vegetarian, right? So of course you're gonna replace the chicken um, uh, broth with you know coconut uh, juice and then you can put in here now would be the best way to put whatever um, you know vegetable that you want in here because vegetable cook really quick um, let's say green bean you know broccoli pork choy I don't know whatever veggie you like this will be the time for you to put them in and then because vegetable, uh, vegetable cook really quick just you know let them boil for a couple of minutes or something and then it's ready to serve um, but for me today we're gonna add crab right and then the flavor is totally different you know um, let's say you want chicken then of course you have to um, you know see how I fry the um, taro roof so same thing with all the vegetable roof you still you want to fry them because when you cook like that um, when you stew them back together the um, let, let's say potato it's not going to be like falling apart they still in one piece for you and same thing with chicken let's say if you want chicken usually I will marinate them separately and then fry them first before I put back everything together but today we do crab so it's a little bit easier um, good already <laughs> you don't even need anything oh. oh love curry I'm gonna put back to low then we go to cut uh, chop our, our crab and then we can just put them in here then it's complete crab so if you have the fresh one uh, you actually can just clean it and chop them out and then you're gonna fry them you know how I fry the taro you want to fry them a little bit first before you put them into your curry but because I got this one is already cooked today so I don't have to do that step and uh, the flavor is not gonna be much different so I just take the that thing out because this is the male one and right here I will open it. Put your finger right here and open it. Look at that. Right? So nicely. So 
I usually we don't eat this part, so I throw them away. I will just gonna leave everything in here, uh, and then when you put them in the curry later on, you so you can actually put the curry right in here. It's really beautiful. And what I do, I just usually gonna cut them in four, and then each serving, I so half. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So you like this. Just like that. Into this. Ow. When your curry ready, you can put your crab in. And then I would just cook, because this one already cooked, I would just let them reboil for like a minute. That's it. Then I will serve back into this bowl. It's ready! <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stir in this big, big bowl. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Imagine that you have, you know, a party, you know, um, especially for someone that loves seafood so much. I think this will be one of the dish that you will be so impressed with. Um, the Arteros, some of them already fall apart. <laughs> some of them are still here. <laughs> But that will help to um, make the, um, you know, uh, the, the curry is even more, you know, creamy. That's why I love taro so much. Like I said, you can replace it with, um, you know, like tomato, ah, bota potato. <laughs> um, but trust me, try taro roof. You'll be so surprised, like seriously, like surprised how good they are. Okay, and look at that. Look at the crab. So you can serve just like this, right? And you see the crab is just in there. Have another piece. You know, right here. Oh, <laughs> oh this is so beautiful and yummy! <laughs> But not least, you can garnish them with some shrimp onion. Let's eat! <laughs> I'm so excited. I taste this already, but seriously, oh my god, this recipe is so amazing. You can eat them with rice. Highly recommend to eat them with, you know, the baguette. But, oh, look at that. Oh, so rich, so flavorful, and look at the crab. I have two crab uh, today that more than enough to feed uh, me and my family. <laughs> and of course, try the juice first, I mean the sauce. Okay, I eat many curry already, but I have to say this recipe is one of the best I ever made. Um, it's actually really simple, right? But it's so delicious because today I yield taro. The flavor of the sauce is so creamy, sweet, um, very, oh, I don't know, so savory. Um, you know, this it goes perfectly well with like white rice. Mm. Oh, look at that. Mm. Definitely white rice. The crab, because I use cooked crab, 
is already a little bit salty in there already. But it's so yummy. Yum, 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 yum. 